dispensations but while we were waiting for the rest of you we were just saying it's unbelievable sitting talking to a number of women including Nell McCafferty it's unbelievable that we're still here asking for something we asked for almost 50 years ago demanding something we demanded almost 50 years ago and I recall, in fact, I think it was the last time in a major reproductive rights campaign in the Republic of Ireland on a single issue when I was allowed to speak on the platform was nearly 45 years ago. And one of the things that is so brilliant today is to see the diversity of speakers, to see the diversity of those who are part of this campaign. Because there was a time in the middle of the struggle in the North, in the campaign for the rights of political prisoners, and around the issues of the hunger strike, when Republican women in, in the North were deemed to give the women's movement a bad image. So join the bad image squad, people. I am absolutely privileged to be joined today by a panel of brilliant people who 45 years ago might also have been said to give women a bad image. <laughs> Our speakers today will include sex workers, transgender women, transgender people, lesbian people, migrant people, people of every size, shape, description and point of view. And on what were we agreed? On what are we all agreed? The issue of the repeal of the Eighth Amendment is actually not even an issue about abortion. It is fundamentally in this case about abortion. But it is at its core in the 21st century a demand that the last usurpation of authority of the individual human being be ended. And that is the usurpation. 
That is the usurpation of a woman's right to control of her own body. To exercise first and last authority over that individual body all day, every day that she is alive. Not simply, not simply when she is a pregnant woman, not simply when she is a lesbian or straight woman, not simply when she is a sex worker, and not simply when she is that large barn of forgotten women who are sex volunteers, still called whores, I believe. Long, long history uh, of women who are marginalized because we expect and we demand and we are entitled to exercise the same bodily integrity as every other human being on the face of this planet. And while, while there are particular groups of women who suffer grievous pain at the usurpation and denial of that right, when we see the hardship caused to people because of the state's position. When we see young women and older women who have to travel abroad, when we see women who have to impoverish themselves in order to secure an abortion, when we are, see people coerced, emotionally manipulated into continuing with pregnancies that are non-viable, these things are torture, but let us be clear that the demand for the end of the usurpation, the demand for our right to control our bodies, to make our own reproductive system, is not a favor we are asking for certain circumstances. It is a fundamental defense of democracy for every person and every citizen. So, we have a great band of speakers here today and I'm not going to delay you much longer because it is time to act and there are things we have to be clear about as we move forward to repeal the Eighth Amendment. We need to be clear especially from the experience of those of us in the North. I tell you this, that as we face Brexit and as we face the repeal of the Eighth, Article 2 and 3 of the Constitution would have come in handy, but you threw it away. It would have come in handy to maintain the right of Northern women to the benefit of any repeal of the Constitution, the Eighth Amendment in the South. But we will benefit. We will benefit from the courage, the determination and the change if we win the repeal in the South. We will benefit because of the courage it will give to people in the North to continue. We have struggled. And we need to speak to all the political parties. But I have a message and I am entitled. Nobody is better entitled than me to give a message to Sinn Féin. You better. Never mind Leo, our openly gay Taoiseach, who's a smart ass. message for you, Mary Lou. You had better be absolutely and unequivocally behind the campaign 
to repeal the Eighth Amendment or your backside will never sit on the T-shirt Bernadette Michalski. Thank you. 
Brent. October 14th, we'll see the rally for choice in Belfast. Contact us to get details of buses travelling from Dublin.